actually 2.01 by my clock, which means we should probably go ahead and get started. I think we have most of the usual people. Anybody else that drops in can hopefully catch up. Um, welcome. Happy September, everyone. Hopefully your September is going well. If you are here in the United States, I hope you had a, a good Labor Day weekend. And if not, I hope you had a lovely weekend anyway. Let's see. Um, for those that are new and haven't been here before, quick overview. Um, what I expect to do today is go through a little bit of what the front end web team has been working on for the last month. Uh, spoiler alert, it's uh, the same stuff that we were kind of working on the month, a month ago, uh, but we're getting close to completion. Um, and generally kind of talk about what we think is coming up next uh, or kind of generally next. Uh, our executive team has spent a bunch of time kind of talking amongst themselves about what we want to prioritize for the rest of the year, and I have some notes from that. Uh, and then um, open it up for questions. Um, usually try and reserve, you know, right around half the, half the meeting or more. Uh, for that, if possible. So uh, bring your questions. The only rule is uh, if it's not for the web team directly, I, I probably can't answer the question. So uh, feel free to ask it, but uh, please bear with me if I uh, tell you that I don't know the answer to those things, because uh, frequently I don't. Um, every now and then I do know the answer to, to some things. Um, I, I do have visibility into other projects, but generally any answer I give you would be misleading and probably wrong. Uh, so I try not to. With that all said, uh, let's, let's just dig into it. Um, so last month, uh, the month of August is, uh, kind of a, a bit of a holiday month here at, in, in the United States. A lot of people take a lot of time off. Um, you know, it is kind of the end of summer and it's a really nice time to go travel. Uh, so you will hopefully excuse us if uh, the list of what I think we have been doing for the last month uh, seems a little bit short. Um, and please understand that that's because a lot of us were, you know, off enjoying our holidays. Uh, that being said, we have been working really hard on the two things that I think I talked about last month, uh, which is what we're calling our land ownership journey. Uh, and that's a complete rewrite from the ground up of every way that you can, you know, as a resident, you can interact with land ownership. Uh, and that's both, you know, Linden homes and region, you know, like full region maintenance, but also, uh, you know, like just uh, rentals from, um, you know, private owners uh, and, and also uh, mainland ownership uh, outside of Linden homes. Uh, so all of that from the ground up, we're kind of just going to rewrite that. And we're doing some really cool stuff. Um, we're using some, some brand new technology uh, for us uh, to try and make all of those pages, some of which don't exist currently, uh, so we're building them from scratch, but uh, many of them do. And, you know, like if you go to the buy a region page right now, um, I, I highly encourage everybody to do that. Don't don't buy a region unless you want to, and if you want to, then tell them Reed sent you because that's that's really nice. Um, but uh, you know, like go look at that page and see, like it's it was built in 2005, and boy does it look like it was built in 2005. And uh, we haven't changed it since. So this has been one of the things that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, uh, and I've finally got people that are willing to do it with me. Um, right. Indeed, Lucy, that is correct. So I'm trying to change the standard operating procedure and um, kind of recreate from the ground up what uh, our secondlife.com and all of its various varietals uh, presence looks like. And I'm starting with land uh, because, you know, to be quite honest, that's, that's where all the fun stuff is. Um, Marketplace is the next big one that I'd like to talk about. Um, 
you know, kind of going forward, because that's that's also kind of like the front page of Second Life uh, is is the marketplace. Uh, but that's a it's a bigger beast. Um, it's system requirements. Hopefully, it'll be the same or lower requirements than you know running the viewer, right? I mean, it's we're just talking about web pages here. It shouldn't get uh, too crazy. Um, but uh, you know, it'll it'll be fancier and work better and look nicer and be easier for us to maintain it on our end, uh, which means it'll be easier for us to change it and uh, add more functionality in when we want to do that. Because right now, uh, I'm sure you've all have noticed, those of you that have been with us for you know, the last few years, uh, you know how long our release cycles are and how painful it is for me to make any changes to secondlife.com and, and the other web properties. So uh, I'd like to just overhaul the infrastructure from the ground up. Um, and so, like I say, land, that's where I'm starting with. So look forward to that in the coming weeks. Uh, I expect to see um, kind of the first piece of that drop and, and what that will be is, is what we're calling the land portal. Uh, so it'll be kind of this front page to land.secondlife.com that um, will give a preview for what the rest of you know, that land ownership journey stuff will look like. And ultimately what all of secondlife.com when I'm done toying with it will start to look like. Um, and you can see bits and pieces of it in other places. Uh, we'll be, you know, using similar things, uh, similar designs to like join.secondlife.com right now um, has, has kind of a similar theme to what we're talking about. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Uh, we've been working on that. And then the other thing that I've been saying that we've been working on, um, and this is the one that has been most affected by vacations, is uh, updating marketplace search to take advantage of all of the infrastructural upgrades that we made to uh, regular web search. Um, so marketplace search, we have not forgotten about it. Um, and, and we understand that that one is actually sometimes even more important than web search. Uh, so we're, we're working on uh, importing all of the infrastructural and, and kind of uh, relevance, um, kind of the relevance engine uh, basic work. Uh, so not the relevance engine itself, but everything that we did in order to enable the relevance engine uh, over on, on normal web search, we're putting that into marketplace search, which will allow us to create the relevance engine for marketplace search as well. Um, so good stuff there. Um, and it will open up future development for marketplace such as variants that I've been talking about for quite some time. That's hopefully next. Uh, and then even better, 2023, I would like to be just the year of Marketplace where we just rebuild Marketplace from the ground up, which I believe we've also talked about uh, in this space. So that's where I'm at for the last month, um, stuff that we've been doing. In terms of uh, that kind of thing, are, are there any questions before I move on to kind of giving a little peek about what the future might look like? I guess the immediate future. Thank you, Hope. Uh, Naya, great question. Uh, not in phase one, but in future phases, yes. So this idea of land ownership journey, um, we're looking at it as a vertical slice of you know everything that goes into owning land and acquiring land and managing land, all of that will fall into that. So absolutely, um, going forward, there will be viewer changes, but after we are done with the website. Um, so I personally own all of that and I'm already working with our designers for you know, what that'll look like in terms of, like when you go to buy mainland, uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt, uh, to be quite honest. I, I don't think it's a very good user flow at all. Um, and I think it's it's very difficult for people who have never done it before specifically, right? So, you know, kind of your new user flow, um, I think is, is not well documented and uh, it ends up kind of becoming a little bit of like a cargo cult 
you know, how <laughs> like this like secret, uh, you know, ask somebody who already knows how to do it, uh, who got told by somebody else, um, you know, how to how to buy buy land in Second Life. It is not very straightforward, um, and it is not a simple process. So we'd like to streamline all of that. Uh, so yes, absolutely, there will be a viewer component, um, but not not immediately. Later on down the road. Uh, Neo, I am looking at what you've got here. Uh, let's hold on to those um, and talk about that later in the, the question and answer, if you don't mind. Um, just want to kind of make sure that we're, we're talking about questions about land ownership journey and, um, and marketplace uh, search upgrades right now. Uh, Lucy, I'm going back and looking at what you've written here. Advent of the performance code and allegedly prevent deactivating ALM. I'm not really sure. I don't know the answer to that, Lucy. Um, that's that's interesting. What is PBR in that statement? That's that new uh, viewer prettiness thing. The ray based oh. reflective stuff. And that's going to prevent deactivating ALM? Huh. Well, okay. I will look into that. That is not something I was familiar with. Right? That's what I was thinking, Nikali. Just making me thirsty. Uh, Panther, let's see here. Yes, so there will be a bunch more search options um, when we're done with this work. Oh, I see. Uh, you just want an update to the system requirements page? Yeah. I actually don't own that page. That's that's uh, the viewer team owns that page, but I can I can poke them. I mean, it's already I asked for that. Yeah, it's on their radar. They know that they need to update that stuff uh, when they make changes. So I can go poke them a little bit harder. Yeah, no worries. Oh, Panther, actually, I, I don't think I was referring to what you were on. Uh, I was talking about the system requirements page that Lucy and uh, Hope were talking about. Uh, Panther, you are good. Uh, don't worry. Yes, we, we are making, we will be making changes to Marketplace Search, and hopefully we'll address what you're talking about there. Uh, peaches, another way to authenticate without downloading to my PC or phone. Do you mean downloading a viewer? Yeah, I'm, I'm unclear when you say. Oh, yeah, the MFA? Yeah, not yet. Um, that's on our roadmap, um, but it's it's later like 2023. But yeah, some someday, <laughs> and nobody likes it when I say someday, uh, but that's that's where we're at. Someday we will give you the, the ability to 
authenticate using a text message or email, that kind of thing. Yeah, no problem. Good question, Peaches. Uh, okay, well, um, I want to, in the interest of, of keeping this moving and giving us enough time for future kind of more broad questions and answers, um, in terms of what's coming next, I did kind of want to share some fun stuff. So right now, uh, like I say, we're, we're going to continue working on the land ownership journey. So the, the web portal is first. Uh, and then after that, we're going to start looking at either the Linen Homes Picker, uh, which also needs a lot of help. Uh, you've all probably played with that before and seen how annoying that thing can be to use. Uh, I certainly find it very annoying. Um, and then uh, potentially also or uh, either the, um, the region by page, uh, because those are... Those are the two things that currently exist that I have the most frustration with. Um, but it's possible, depending on you know what we find. So what we're going to do is is with the the land portal, we're going to start measuring. You know where where do people go from there? Like what are they? What are people really interested in? Um, and use that to kind of drive what we think is you know next on our list. Um, so. If, if any of you work in the industry, that may sound a lot like data-driven uh, decision-making, and you would be correct. Uh, it's kind of a new thing that we're trying to, trying to do here. Um, we, we use data all over the place, but I think we don't use it as well as we could, and uh, I'm trying to push that, that forward uh, here at, at Linden Labs so that we can do things a little bit more scientifically. Um, at the moment, we kind of uh, throw a bunch of stuff at the wall and see what sticks. And that's worked okay for us for a while, but I think we can do better. So we'll be doing that. Um, and then also, like I say, the, the marketplace, once we're done with that stuff, that infrastructural update, that then opens up um, our ability to you know, kind of go work and, and finish up variants, uh, which I've been promising for about a year now. Um, so well overdue. Uh, and any of you that, that wanted to come shake a fist at me about that, feel free because I deserve it. Um, we just had a lot of stuff going on this year. Um, as per usual, Lucy's going to say standard operating procedure, and she is correct. Um, so that, and then um, that'll, that'll also open up, like I was referring to before, kind of putting that relevance engine stuff into the marketplace as well. Uh, so that's on our roadmap. And then kind of fun is uh, the stuff that, that our executive team has identified as what they would like to see next. So not just stuff that I'm talking about, but what they're talking about as a you know, kind of company-wide uh, focus and initiative is um, something that we ha talk about frequently but don't really focus on as much as we could. And that's going to start changing, and it's the new user experience. Uh, so one of the things that I want to talk about in this space, um, maybe not this month, but as homework for next month, is you know kind of really get at like what do we think in this group? Yeah, homework. Too bad. Uh, you don't have to do it. It just means you don't get to participate next month. Um, you know, like what do we think? is the, are there silver bullets uh, to the new user experience? Is, is there something we can do that would, you know, immediately change that new user experience for the better? Uh, what is the feedback that y'all have been hearing from people that you have asked to, you know, come try out Second Life? Um, I mean, we all have these stories where, you know, we've said like, hey, Second Life is great, you'd love it, you know, here's, you know, this group, this club, these people, you know, whatever, you know, check this thing out. And then someone comes and checks it out and says, well, yeah, like it was kind of a pain in the ass to get started and I didn't find what I was looking for and I'm not, I'm not really sure, uh, you know, maybe download this viewer and I don't know, that thing could be 
stuck with all sorts of stuff. And then the moment I downloaded it, everybody was like, oh, no, don't use that viewer. Use this one over here. And um, it, it's just, it, it seems like uh, the, the new user experience for, for Second Life is, is somewhat hostile, uh, to be quite honest. So it, just curious and, and want to kind of gauge your temperature and, and see. I think we've got a lot of really smart people here um, with good ideas. I'd like to start gathering some of those ideas, um, and and if they're, you know, if we all like them, uh, I can start pitching them up because this is something that we're really going to start focusing on over the course of the next twelve months, uh, and probably longer, uh, but for sure, uh, you know, in in terms of the next twelve months, uh, is you know the new user experience, um, and even better would be you know, hey, read. Here's something that the web team could do to, um, you know, really assist in that new user experience. I mean, look, we've got some ideas on our own, but love to hear yours as well. Um, but you know, pain points, uh, new ideas, um, anecdotal, you know, stories about, you know, what what a friend of yours or or something that you've recommended Second Life to, like why they bounced off, uh, all that stuff, that kind of thing. Love to have that conversation next time around. So Lucy, that's that's a great point. Like you don't know what specifically Linden Lab is wanting to focus on or change. Neither do we, right? Uh, that's that's kind of what I'm getting at here is that we would like to we would like to focus on this and make some changes. Um, but you know, we have a few ideas, but you know, we're we're open to others, right? Like we're not the keepers of all the good ideas. In fact, we think most of the good ideas come from y'all. Uh, there's only a few of us, and there's you know tens of thousands of y'all, uh, and no one knows more, you know where the pain points are, what things would be better, or what things would would make a real difference uh, than than you people do. Um, you know, I I don't have all the silver bullets in my in my pocket, uh, but I'll bet if we if we sat and thought about it here in this group and and kind of along wider groups, we could come up with a few pretty good ones. So hopefully that, that makes sense. Uh, I'm not talking about a, a specific project. Uh, I'm not even necessarily talking about a specific definition of NUX, um, which is to say new user experience. I'm actually trying to broaden that out and saying, let's redefine what that means. Uh, I'm actually not sure whether that's an ambulance, fire truck, or police, to be quite honest. I live not too far away from the, the freeway, so and it's nice out. I have all the windows open. So sorry that you can hear that in the background. Either way, it's not coming for me. I haven't broken any laws recently. So yeah. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's give that a thought for next month. So you know, we'll have an entire month to kind of think that through and talk to your friends. Um, it'd be cool to have that conversation next month. I would enjoy that. So that being said, I think that's. That's kind of the list. That's the stuff. Oh, 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 then there's one other thing. I'm so sorry, I completely forgot about it. Um, we are also, so the success of Premium Plus, uh, which has been a big success, um, has uh, really kind of highlighted it, and I've been, you know, listening to all of y'all, um, and I've said, you know, hey, this keeps coming up, uh, and I think it's a really good idea. We should start looking into other versions of Premium. Uh, so right now you've got basic, you've got premium, you've got premium plus, and premium plus is really just kind of a, you know, bigger version of premium. It's kind of just more on all the stuff, um, you know, more money, um, to, uh, you know, costs more, gives you more, um, but it's just kind of more across the board. And 
you know, I've, I think we've been able to make a really good case for uh, that worked really well. And there's a, you know, there's a lot of people that would like to see different versions of premium and, you know, maybe kind of a premium light. Uh, so it doesn't cost uh, as much money, um, but you get different, different benefits. Um, and importantly, maybe benefits like allowing you to buy Lind, uh, you know, kind of mainland um, without having to pay all of the crazy money for, for premium. Uh, yeah, kind of like premium a la carte. That's exactly right, Lucy. Um, so, you know, things along those lines. Um, so one of the, one of the things that we're, we're kind of playing around with is that for, for next up. So keep your eye on the horizon there. Um, the more I know, the more I can tell you. Uh, all I know at the moment is that uh, Premium Plus went really well, and as a result of that, I have a whole lot of traction for things like, you know, more of a premium light or a premium a la carte or premium specific to a certain use type that hopefully will cost less and uh, be more specific to, to y'all. Uh, so, yay! We did it! We're listening! Um, and uh, I'm really excited to be able to talk about that more when I have more details. But in the meantime, uh, happy to share that that's, that's an initiative that uh, got approved by the executives. And so start fleshing it out, see what it looks like. And I think that's, that's the end. That's all the stuff I know. Seriously, seriously. So that being said, we are at 227 by my clock, which means I have, in fact, delivered on my promise. I open the gates half an hour, full half an hour. You can throw things at me questions at me. My avatar is pretty tiny. You could probably just throw me. <laughs> Working on it, Peaches. I'll keep reading back. Hope wants to know if we can add group name changes as a premium plus perk. Uh, people keep mentioning a la carte, but also that they want to own a homestead without having to own a whole region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, give me a second to go all the way back, and I'll get to those. Thank you. Okay. Do, do, do. So, Peaches, we have uh, owning a homestead without having to own a full region, right? Okay. Um, yeah, we get that uh, that request a lot. Um, that it's perennially on our roadmap. There's there's some business reasons why that's not. Um, currently on the on the roadmap, uh, but we do get that request a lot, and I'll I'll raise it again. Um, that's a that's a fairly common feature request. And then moving down, hope I'm reading yours. Yeah. So group name changes. I I think that's worth a feature request. Um, you may have already made one before, and we it sounds like we may have already told you that that's that's not something we can do. Um, but I didn't tell you that it wasn't something we could do. So if you wouldn't mind just making that feature request, I I go to those triages now. So. Um, and have been for, I don't know, five years, something like that. Um, so if you made the request before uh, and, you know, it was said no, uh, we might be in a position where we can maybe do this now. Uh, like you say, name changes uh, worked, uh, and we've, we've solved a lot of those problems. So maybe it is a similar technological hurdle. Uh, I'd be willing to have that conversation again. Uh, Jub Jub, I'm reading yours. <laughs> <laughs> J 
Jeb Jeb says, uh, yeah, so on the main account pages, there's still links to X Street. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's... Uh, yeah, we should get rid of that. <laughs> I don't, I don't really have a, I don't really have a better answer to that than, yeah, we're, we're working on it. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of old cruft. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, thank you for reminding me. I, I think we can probably just get rid of those links. Uh, I do own the main account pages, so the next time I have somebody working on accounts, I think I'll just tell them to get rid of that link. Good heads up. Wasn't on my radar. Uh, Neo copy and pasting is fine. Right, uh, store block list to the marketplace. That absolutely is um, potentially included in the soon marketplace work. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, in fact, uh, as I said before, I go to those triages. When I saw that one, I thought, ooh, yeah, that's actually a really good one. So uh, you probably got a uh, thank you for your feature request. That came from me. Uh, so yes, uh, I can say uh, without hesitation that we will absolutely consider that in the uh, soon for marketplace work. And then the other one is 360 snapshots in the destination guide. Uh, that one's uh, more um, nuanced because there's it's different technology over there. Um, it, I think they have tried to incorporate 360 snapshots into the destination guide, um, but uh, I can go poke at that one again. Uh, Jenna, I am reading yours. Thanks, Jeb Jeb, for the, the bug. Appreciate it. Um, so newer, are you, Jenna, are you asking for a newer implementation of the wiki? I mean, I, I can probably answer all of your potential questions with with a blanket statement of, yeah, you know, video embed, but video embeds into the wiki. Like, where are you trying to embed these videos? Right. Um, okay. So uh, I have I have a blanket answer for for wiki updates, um, and I I apologize for it in advance, but it is basically that we do not officially support the the wiki. Um, really, like we we will make some changes uh, and updates to it um, here and there. Uh, I don't want to say that there will never be more updates but um, it's not something that we're making promises about. So uh, unfortunately, I can make you no promises there. Uh, on the other hand, feel free to request it and we'll see what, what can happen. The wiki is sadly unloved. Peaches, so if you want to have a specific wiki page removed, again, that's uh, please submit that as a feature request. Uh, we have wiki admins that can probably evaluate and do that. Uh, that actually does not run through the, uh, the web team. Which is not something I would expect you to know, so I'm not, I'm not shaking a finger at you. Oh, 
you ready? Here come the sirens again. And I hear a helicopter. Man, maybe something crazy is happening. Y'all, I may have to go. Prison break. I think the gunfighter is the uh, the helicopter that seems to be flying around. Just assumed it was a traffic copter, but with all these sirens, maybe it's maybe it's a police helicopter. Who knows? Uh, if we can if we can move past the sirens, Naya, I'm reading yours. Speaking of the destination guide, dot dot dot. Uh, yeah, okay, so now is asking about, um, sometimes there are places in the destination guide that are featured that, uh, much of the region is unavailable. Uh, I agree, that is, that is disappointing. Um, again, uh, unfortunately, the, the actual things that go into the destination guide, uh, don't run through my team. Um, I have, I have no control over any of that. Uh, but I do believe that you can contact them i think there's a it should be basically in the same uh same email address that you use to submit this nation guide um options I, I think that goes to the same people uh so you may be able to say like hey this one is not terribly well accessible give them that feedback I would agree, that is confusing to new users. Um, one of the things that we're talking about for new users is is potentially creating like a hub or a, I think we've been calling it a Go menu um, that would either incorporate or replace the destination guide uh, in some scenarios. So uh, I know that they're thinking in terms of, you know, like what changes can we make to the destination guide to make them more friendly to new users. So a suggestion like that would not be uh, unappreciated. It'd be it'd be right in line with that effort. Lily, you're you're not wrong, right? Like I need to know what's going on. If I see anybody, you know, in, in an orange jumpsuit running around, I'll let you know. Nara, I haven't heard from you yet today. Just listening today. Pantera, same. Are you ready, Hope? Not overlooking you this time. I'm reading it. I'll even read it out loud. What is the progress on Premium Plus mesh discounts? Uh, we were told before it went live that you were working on it. Uh, have heard nothing since. Um, so yeah, that's a, a great question. The answer is that there hasn't really been a whole lot of progress on it. Um, I think there are some people working on the, so that, that all kind of comes through the viewer and the simulator. So it's it's other teams than than the web team. Uh, that being said, I am the product owner on Premium Plus, so I do have some some insight into this. So I'm not going to just give you my blanket like, "Ooh, I have no idea." Um, the I do have an idea. Um, 
we we haven't really made a whole lot of progress there. Um, it's tough. Uh, is is the easiest TLDR that I can give you because mesh in like specifically, it's not a um, it's not a single number. Whereas all the other discounts were kind of single numbers, so they were you know easy to just go in and say, oh yeah, instead of charging you know fifty linen dollars, charge ten. Um, whereas the the mesh uploads, it does this whole calculation, um, and you know kind of getting in there in the middle of that calculation and providing some sort of discount is more difficult than simply redefining what the cost is. Uh, so, Lucy, you are correct. You can apply a percentage to that. It's just more difficult than simply just redefining what the what the number is. That's all I'm saying. It's not impossible, um, but yeah, it's not straightforward. So, unfortunately, uh, I don't. I mean, I can give you the answer. That is, there has been no uh, no movement on that. Well, Lucy, I disagree with you. It is hard. No problem. You're welcome. It is, it's still something that we'd like to do. It's just, we haven't had the opportunity to really kind of dig into it yet. Jump, jump, if only it were that easy. Oh, that would have made my life so much easier if it was just that. Six months of blood, sweat, and tears trying to get if premium plus then into every little thing. First, you had to teach everything that there was a possibility that it could be something other than basic and premium. And let me tell you, that uh, that was not easy. Major, 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 major infrastructural overhaul required. Stuff that's been in place since 2003. Right, that helicopter. Kind of sounds like a weed whacker. You're not wrong. It's still circling. I think I'm I'm still in the I don't know danger zone. Kali, I'm going to throw you under a bus here. Uh, so Kali just pinged me and said, let's give them a premium for life option. $3,000 now and you get premium forever. Uh, I, don't, I don't mind that, actually. Who wants to pay me three grand? I'll make sure that you never get charged for premium again. You can write the checks out to Reed Linden. Or cash. That'll work. I'll just remove your review date, and there you go. The nightly biller will never touch you. Just free premium. Ooh, free region? I think we could do that, too. It's basically the same process. I'll just remove the review date on the region, and then hope that Derek doesn't notice. I, it'd be interesting to try and think of what what 
the price point for a lifetime account should be. Uh, it'd be a fun, um, a fun little exercise. You know, do we say do you do you put it at like five years of premium? So right now, an annual premium is ninety nine dollars. So is it five hundred dollars? That just buys you a lifetime account. It seems about right. Just off the top of my head. You could do the same thing for a region, be a lot more. Right? So a region right now is about 200, 250, something like that per month. So let's, let's call it $2,500 a year. So five years of that would be $5,000, $10,000, $12,000. Yeah, you pay me $12,000 and I will do everything that I'm in my power to get you a free region for life. That sounds about right. I think we could do it. I'll even throw in the free, uh, the free premium. Oh, Lucy, you better believe I would take the money and run. All I need is about, what, about a hundred people doing that. <laughs> I don't care if they do fire me. I know it's being recorded. I also know that we would never do it that way. And all that money would go into... Uncle Linden's pockets and not mine. So I'd be safe. But if it could go into my pockets, yeah. Just slip you a free region under the table. Some good old fashioned corruption. That's what we need. <laughs> yes, with well, is it a handlebar mustache or is it like a little twirly one? Like a waxed, waxed mustache. Certainly a lot of tweed. We'd be needing to wear basically all tweed. Uh, I vote for tying the penguin to the railroad track instead of the damsel, though. Well, sure. <laughs> Except that I'm the one doing the corruption, so I don't know. <laughs> Q and A is only over when I say it's over. It's not over. You still got eleven minutes. Ask your questions. Is it no penguin? Kind of like an opossum. I'm going to turn on some old music for y'all. Just sitting here waiting for someone to ask me a question. Mm -hmm.
can be more specific, Lucy? What is the issue with store names being referenced in search terms? I hope I meant hold music, like when somebody puts you on hold. You get that really cheesy, like 70s. Do, 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 do. And yes, that's the I Dream of Genie theme song. That's what my brain does. Yeah, exactly. I love the music. Lucy, do you mean the um, when you're in Marketplace and you're searching for an item, but it brings up stores in the results instead of just items? Yes. Uh, we, we are working on that right now, actually. Ta-da! Hooray, indeed. Yeah, what's up with all those typos? I can't read a thing. Ugh. No, I think we understood. Uh, yeah, I hope that is a consideration, and we do, we do keep that in mind. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's a lot harder to solve for that, right? Like, what you put in tags is kind of what you put in tags. I think we're going to be able to more discreetly tweak how we weight which data items uh, make things move higher in search results. Um, it's future. Yeah. Well, sort of. Um, so, yeah, I don't know that we can really, I don't, I don't know that we should get into the business of policing what's in the keyword lists more than it's not a bad word or it hasn't been reported. But uh, we definitely are not going to have user or store name weighted high on item searches. You see, I, I... I think we need more typos in order to read that correctly. You've, you've written it too, too well. Hope has set the bar. Must have typos. <sighs> oh, you're so pessimistic. Um, so the relevance like for, for searches in Marketplace, it's going to change pretty much the same way it has changed for web search. Um, so, I mean, it's not that I don't want to a answer that. Uh, it's that I don't have like a list in front of me of exactly what will change. But Kali might, to be quite honest. I don't have a list in front of me. But uh, yeah, we're going to put weights on item name, item description, um, I'm sure keywords. I believe we said that we were going to exclude shop name from the things that are like the shop name field. If they put it in keywords, that's a whole other thing, but um, from the search results. And then you can do the shop name search when you want to actually find the shop. And then there's the the 
relevance engine that kind of learns uh, that will be added later, but that one is not going to be done right away. Um, yeah, Lucy, if once we actually ship this upgrade, if that still keeps happening, please make sure that you tell us. Um, I think that that has been getting better in web search. And so once we apply a lot of the things we learned from web search to marketplace, which should happen soon, uh, I think it'll get better. Yeah, I mean, particularly if it's exact matches, I think we've we've solved the exact match issue. So, and I believe we will tell you. Like, I'm pretty sure we're putting a blog up when it ships, so uh, we'll let you know. Yeah. And if you don't see it in the blog, you'll hear it here. Hear it in WUG. Yeah. WUG. Do y'all know that that's what we call this? WUG. a good name for a goblin. Palpy Fazzle Fingers. Really I've it. been here for a little while, Hope. I don't usually talk so much, uh, but I am the engineering manager of the web team. My partner in crime keeps me honest at these meetings. Make sure I don't overpromise. Got one minute. Last chance. We're so close to being there. Neo, we are so close. And that helicopter. Still hanging around. You know, this meeting's going to end and I'm going to turn off my mic and like everything's going to go quiet. That's the way this works. It'll just be that meme of the old man shaking his fist at the sky. Seriously. No phone ringing. It is election season here in the States, so... A lot of spam calls. Unasked for. All right. It is three o'clock by my clock. That means that we are officially done. Thank you all for coming. Uh, see you all next month. Next month is October, uh, and as mentioned here, I would love to talk about the new user experience and not a specific project, but kind of more generally, you know, what, where we think the pain points are um, and, and what we think we might be able to do to, uh, to address them. And there are no, no particularly bad ideas. Uh, this is brainstorming, so feel free to bring me uh, things that seem 
wildly over the top, and we'll see what we can do. Well, I can't leave without addressing what Jub Jub just said. Stopped attending these meetings because of repeated we'll get to it statements and jeers that are being ignored. I'm just gonna report these things and laugh it off when they're not done. Oh. Do you still feel that way? Now that you've been to this one? You do? Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um what what can I do to uh to make that not not be true jub jub i did j pick up your jira and uh shared it oh well reed likes to laugh but he didn't mean to laugh it off that way i don't think no i mean at the end of the day jub jub right like we we have a finite resource uh, and that finite resource is the number of engineers that we have and the amount of time that we have to work on things. Uh, so, you know, there's there are things that we have to prioritize, um, and, you know, we have to say, well, these are things that we will do, and these are things that we would like to do, and these are things that we won't probably ever get to. Um, it doesn't mean that they're not valid. It doesn't mean that... Um, you know that that somebody somewhere is not experiencing some hardship as a result of those. It's just um, you know uh, prioritization of you know these other things we have determined for whatever reason are more important. Uh, I apologize if it sounds like I'm making light of what you know something that that is frustrating for you. Um, that's not my intent. Um, you know, for me, the the laugh is generally more, yeah, I agree with you, and I wish that there was something I could do about it, but I can't. Uh, I am also frustrated. And in that scenario, the, the only responses I have is to laugh or cry. Uh, I choose to laugh. Um, that being said, I, I, I do take your feedback. Um, I, I apologize. I, I don't mean that to sound dismissive you uh, and so if it did sound dis dismissive for something that you were hoping to get an answer on then that's my fault and I apologize for that Jub Jub so you know uh, me and my developers are also frustrated by all of the little things in that are broken in the main menus um, so do keep bringing them to us uh, yeah. especially with Read hearing them and me and Reed hearing them will hopefully get a chance to prioritize them. But as Reed said, we've only got so many people and so much time. Uh, but yeah, we would absolutely love to make it a less frustrating experience. Yeah. Um, you know, the I mean, to be perfectly honest, right? It's not that 10 years isn't enough time. Um, it's that these types of things, so, you know, broken links in the in the footer just don't get a whole lot of attention um, and they aren't really breaking functionality so uh, they aren't they aren't hurting people directly uh, the header sure header footer um, but and, and as a result they don't get prioritized as high as they could um, so it's not that hey we we couldn't fix this in 10 years it's that we chose not to uh, and I'm being very honest with you here, right? Like we chose not to fix that. And that is frustrating for you. It's frustrating for me. It's frustrating for our engineers. It's frustrating for everybody that designs things. Um, but we have to choose where to spend our time. And we have thus far not chosen to spend our time removing links that are annoyingly broken. Um, there's, I, I mean, I could go into a list of things that frustrate the heck out of me um, that seem like they should be very easy to fix. Uh, I mean, th let me tell you about all of the broken localization that exists all over the place. And the headers is a really good example of, you know, places where it's completely different on one web page than another. Uh, and that is extremely frustrating. And, um, it's been broken for 10 years in some scenarios. Doesn't mean I don't want to fix them. It doesn't mean that I don't think that they're worth fixing. 
It just means that we haven't chosen to do it yet. Interesting thing for us to ponder that Jeb Jeb just said, though, about um, cleaning up all of that could fall under a NUX type thing because mm -hmm. new users can be turned off by that frustrating experience. Yeah, completely agree. Completely agree. Yeah, it's a good heads up, uh, Jeb Jeb. I, I, I want you to be very clear that I appreciate you bringing this up. I just wish you hadn't sent the helicopter after me when you did it. That was unnecessary. It's still there. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully you won't have to. But on that note, um, I am late for my next one. So uh, thanks, everybody. It's 3.07. Have a wonderful month. Cheers.